Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we finally made it to Acadia. And it was an interesting experience, to say the very, very least. Whenever we, uh, whenever we made it here, first off, we found Dima, who is uh, a science experiment gone right? Wrong? Depending on how you uh, look at it. But then we were rewarded for bringing Nick from the mainland all the way here. Because, as Dima points out, they're actually brothers. Do do do! Is it true? I don't know. We have a lot more to learn. Today we're going to be looking around, continuing to talk to people, and uh, f finally getting a chance to see Kasumi, which is exciting. Before I progress any further, I wanted to remind people of two things. For one, submit art! <laughs> We still, we still have a pretty good amount of art, but we haven't had a whole lot of submissions coming in. Uh, but now we're in Far Harbor. There's a lot of cool stuff. So if you are the drawing type, and even if you're not, get creative in other ways, uh, we would love to see your continued artwork for the uh, the ending of episodes. And then number two, anyone who's interested in uh, supporting the wiki, uh, you, you, can, you can do that. There is a link in the description of every single video posted on Steven Plays to the wiki. Uh, it houses all sorts of fun information about all the series across all the channels, but there's, uh, there's a group of people keeping up with just Fallout 4, keeping track of when the quests are done, when the bobbleheads are collected, um, all sorts of different information that you guys might find interesting. If you are a wiki person and want to contribute to that environment, there's a link in the description. Alright, now let's continue to walk around. It's unfortunate that the cutscenes have been a little wonky with the uh, power armor. They really should have accounted for that, but I guess they didn't. It wants us to walk into the other room, but I never finished talking to my friend here. Hey. Yes? Tell me about yourself, Faraday. Me? I don't know why you'd care. I escaped the Institute, just like others here. Never had my mind wiped, thankfully. I like to think I came along right when Demon needed me. I found him before all this, before Acadia. He needed my help. Though he refused to admit it. He's always been stubborn like that. Anyway, I've been by his side ever since, making sure he has everything he needs. Hmm. Sorry. Never mind. Okay. Who do you think actually won the war? Nobody, I guess. I gotta admit, um, I've really enjoyed Far Harbor so far. Just getting a chance to... to see everyone, and, and meet everyone, and hear this new plot line. It's been really interesting, and um, I guess I guess it continues to run to run even deeper. Uh, also, there was a very important comment that said, we can actually tell Dima that we are with the Brotherhood. It will not affect anything, but it will allow us to get a little more backstory, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Hey, Dima. Did you need something? I'm in the Brotherhood of Steel, and we have plenty to say about Synths. How dangerous they are. We're not dangerous. Those who've used us tried to replace humans with my kind. They're dangerous. All we want is to live in peace. On our own. See for yourself. Walk through Acadia. Talk to my people. We aren't a threat to anyone. Alright. I'll reserve judgment for now. Thank you. Now, was there anything else I can do for you? <laughs> oh, 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 by by walking up and being like, actually, synths are kind of crummy. <laughs> Valentine's like, what the crap, dude? I'm a synth. Tell me more about this place, Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can, and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? I should get going. Of course. There was something that Dima said that really struck me um, whenever one of the first things I said about the Brotherhood was... Uh, Edema was making a statement about the Institute and said, It's not synths that are bad. It's the Institute that is bad. They're, the Institute is in charge of these synths and is, is programming them to do, you know, God knows what. The synths themselves 
are innocent bystanders in that. And that that was actually a good line. And that's something uh, something to think about. Where did, uh, what's her name go? I don't know where she went. I want to find her because I want to ask her about her story, but she might be in this room over here. Let's find out. Okay, we walked through the door. It's good. There's nothing in the ice cooler. But I wanted a beverage. Hello? I think that's her over there. God, this place is actually pretty big. I assume you're not planning on staying long. Whoa. <clears throat> I assume you're not planning on staying long. Uh Is there a problem with my being here? Maybe. Maybe not. Acadia is only as secure as we make it. We take unnecessary risks, we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. Is there anything I can say or do to change your mind? Just don't cause any problems. I mean, that's fair. I, I don't- I don't feel like he was being rude. Hi there! So, I understand you've seen a good bit of our island. What do you think? You're the one who lives here. What do you think of it? Well, I... I think it's all rather compelling. This island, with all of its danger and beauty, predates you and I. The ecosystem isn't what it once was, but it has adapted, and it will continue to adapt long after we're gone. What's important, really important in the long run, is understanding it, and then passing that knowledge along to those who will follow us. So, what exactly are you doing? As much as I can, given limited resources. Cataloging specimens, observing evolutionary trends, compiling data for future generations. I should note that I'm not fully versed in human anatomy but I'm your best chance of medical assistance should you require it. Since Dima has approved of you, I'm more than willing to offer help. What can you tell me about Acadia? It was originally a place of science. I like that about it. Feels like home in a way. I don't mean the Institute when I say home. More that... Uh, I don't know. That abstract feeling of belonging someplace. We all belong here, in our own way. Dima's to be thanked for that. Hmm. Excuse me. Can I help you? So, what's your story? Similar to most here, I think. I fled the Institute, feeling that anything else would be allowing myself to remain trapped, constantly in fear. I chose not to go into hiding, though. I felt, to do that, I'd lose what makes me... me. Does that make sense? If I lost my life, that'd be one thing. To lose my identity... Um, that was too much to bear. Thankfully, it never came to that. So, here I am. Hmm. <clears throat> Can I help you? I'd like to help you with your research. Oh, well, that's thoughtful of you. Hmm, okay. What can we have you do? There's a flower native to this island, a species of the genus Aster, that has survived remarkably well. It doesn't quite have the brilliance of color that I understand it once did, before... Hmm, well, before the war. I'm personally rather fond of them, but lately have been investigating secondary chemical properties they possess. If you could bring me additional samples, it would speed up my research. I can offer you a meager amount of caps, if that makes the idea more appealing. What exactly is the point of all this? A mix of scientific inquiry and personal interest, I suppose. I'm curious about the changes the species has gone through over the centuries. I also find them beautiful. I have some flowers for you. I'm sorry, is this a joke I'm not in on? If you do actually find any, I'll be happy to take them. Okay. But I have these invisible flowers. Um, first off, I'm super thrilled that this place is extremely fleshed out. 
Uh, because I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a huge place with three people in it. It's not. And they have a lot to say, and I love lore, so this is right up my alley. However, I don't know, I get this... And some of you, I was reading the comments last time, and some of you were kind of feeling it too. Like, Dima... Dima feels pretty trustworthy to me, I, I would admit. It, it, seriously, really, I mean that. But then, I don't know, it all feels sort of weird, and then... Dima's like, making you question whether or not you're, you're actually human, and... Like, are all of these people actually since? There's no way to, to find out for sure, unless they kill them, right? So, they, d they don't even know, so maybe it's just, you know, a message that makes them feel good, so they, they have a sense of belonging here. Of course, on the other end of that spectrum, does it matter? Does it really matter? If they're not, if they're not doing any harm here, and they're human, but they think they're a synth, does it, does it even matter? I don't know. What I do want to know is, can I take these stim packs? The answer is yes. I am a friend to all, and these belong to me now. Great to have met all of you. How about you, buddy? <clears throat> Sounds like you got the all clear. So what's your story? I came here looking for Kasumi. Oh, isn't that sweet of you? That Kasumi's a good enough kid, I suppose. A little confused, maybe. But then, aren't we all? Not that anyone's asking, but I'll tell you. It all gets easier to deal with when you realize none of it matters. What you are, where you came from, let go of all that, and life gets simple. Hmm. Is there anything you care about? I mean, staying alive is preferable to... not. Beyond that, what's the point of caring? Anyway, lately I've taken to amusing myself with trading. Don't have much to work with, but I'm always happy to make a good deal. Let me know if you need something. I probably won't have it, but let me know anyway. Anything interesting you can tell me about Acadia? God, no. Have you looked around this place? Death by boredom is a legitimate concern. So? Come on. You want to do a little trading? So, what's your story? Me? <laughs> no story here. Not one that matters, anyway. Like I said, it's not worth holding on to. Nice of you to ask, though. Uh, <clears throat> Need something? Might as well at least see what you got. I've got a few minutes to browse. Now we're talking. See what you sell, Cog. Uh, let's see, you got... Pretty generic stuff. This all looks pretty normal. You got fisherman's overalls. Once again, nothing really out of the ordinary here. Recon marine chess piece. Yeah... Nothing, nothing crazy. I like, I like Cog's outlook on stuff. And it kind of goes with what I was just talking about, too. Like, who cares what you are? Like, y you are what you are and, and, and whatever. You know? I mean, he's probably... He's probably looking at it from more of a, a negative, pessimistic point of view. Like, it does, nothing matters. But still, like, it, it doesn't matter. If there are humans here and, and they think they're sense, so be it. You want to buy something or what? What can you tell me about Acadia? It's smaller than I'd like it to be. But then, we don't exactly have the numbers to fill some place larger. Makes it easier to defend, anyway. Forget it. Did you want something or not? So, what's your story? I... I don't like talking about it. I made it to Acadia. That's what matters. Now that I'm here, I'm going to make sure nothing happens to it. Whoa. Hi. You want to buy something or what? I'll take a look, sure. Don't touch everything, okay? <laughs> what have you got? Um, old Reliable. Okay. 4570 uh, gun that shoots an additional projectile. Pole hook. I think we've seen that before. Uh, otherwise, just... There's Sergeant Ash. 20% chance to cripple the target's leg. He's got a few a, a few better weapons than uh, than Cog had. That's to be certain. Otherwise, eh, nothing really of note. All right, so I've already met several interesting folks, and there's more to see. Did you need something? I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. What's the problem? 
We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Hmm. Alright, so we got someone to, uh, to retrieve. Hi. Did you need something? Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? You're already taking care of it, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Let's see what else is in here. This is a pretty nice place. And there was a there was a basement also. It's Kasumi in the yeah, Kasumi's actually further downstairs. Hopefully we won't miss anyone then. Sorry to wake you up. I'm new here. Just passing through, trying to meet every single person I can meet. Hi. New guy, right? Look, I'm not anybody worth talking to. My head is killing me. Now's not a good time. What's wrong? We're doing this anyway? Even after saying I don't want to talk? C God. You try having somebody botch a mind wipe on you and see how it feels. Then get back to me, okay? What do you mean, mind wipe? Oh, for fuck's sake. You're a synth on the run. You go to someone, you get a new face, and they wipe your mind so the Institute can't find you. Only somebody screwed mine up. <laughs> so here I am. Now just... Please, leave me alone. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I just can't deal with social interactions, okay? Alright, I'm I'm sorry. That was extremely rude of me, but also I'm learning so much and I want to continue learning. Um, so that goes down also. Is anybody here I missed? Still more people, my god! Hey. I think I came at the wrong time of day, everyone's asleep. Are you sewing? Sounds like someone's sewing. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It certainly wasn't what I was expecting, but it means there's hope, right? That's a good attitude. Hope can get you through the worst of times. Believe me, I know. When I first escaped, I had no idea what to do with myself. I was so lost. So scared. But I heard rumors of Chase and what she was doing. That she was bringing people to a safe place. A place just for us. And now here I am. For all it's worth. So now you're here. What comes next? I don't know. I really don't. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. Hmm. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than dead. No story from Naveen. Uh, Miranda? So you're that new fellow from the Commonwealth. It's so wonderful to meet someone from back home. I'm afraid Kasumi doesn't seem to want to discuss it, but... How are things there? Hmm. Getting better every day, I think. Oh, that's so good to hear. I would like to see it again someday. Once things settle down here. Acadia is all well and good, I suppose. But honestly, it does get a bit boring. You're safe here. That's what really matters. Hmm, I suppose. One could do with a little excitement now and then, though. Don't you think? I'm sure I'll see you around. Do take care. Uh, Miranda. <laughs> One day, I'm gonna get out there and see the rest of the world. All right, so, uh, once again, far more people. Far, far more people than I ever expected... ...ever expected to meet. But now that we've met them, uh, there is but one thing to do, and that is head downstairs. Looks to me like we can go this direction. 
So let's head down here and see if Kasumi's down here. Kasumi? Ugh. Circuitry is completely fried. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I I'm right in the middle of something. What's that you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Your parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... they did what? You came all this way... for me. You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... I, I mean, those people that were taking care of me... They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. What do you mean? I'm not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. <laughs> Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. Man, that's a hard decision. I'm automatically drawn to things that increase my charisma. But I also don't know what to tell this girl. Her mother... Her mother said that, you know, she birthed Hello. her, You're just right? Like, there. and I guess there's a chance maybe that her real daughter was replaced, but also, I don't know. I'm not really buying it. I actually think that Kasumi is probably human, but maybe not. I'm going to go with the confused line for now, but even I'm confused. Kasumi, I think you just... Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. What kind of problem is there in Acadia? It's a long story. I just have to figure out how to... Wait. Wait, you find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here, on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. What are you talking about? Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. Interesting. I expected her to trust Dima, and now she's the one that's... Oh, man, this is such a great story. I love it. You don't trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. Hmm. I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. Hmm. Now 
hack the terminal, eavesdrop on the meeting, I'll just talk to Dima. I'll improvise. Um... God, I'm almost tempted to just talk to Dima. Because my charisma is so sky high, I might be able to just get it out of him. You're... not saying anything. That's because I'm thinking, Kasumi! Um... Hmm... Of course, hacking the terminal could be good. God, maybe I will just talk to Dima. This will be easier if I just talk to Dima. Convince him that he needs to be honest with us. All right. Good luck. Let me know what you find out. From one case to a new one. It's never easy for us, is it? I swear someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe Cog? He's always moving supplies around as they come in. Interesting. So, so interesting. Man, like, I was already pretty, uh, pretty wrapped up in the story, and then to find out that, you know, she's like, you know, something doesn't add up. And it's true, like, and it feels like a lot of these synths or humans or, or whatever they are have a bit of Stockholm Syndrome, too. I mean, well, I guess it's not Stockholm Syndrome. They're not being kept here against their will, at least from what I can tell. But there's a, there's a sense of, um, hero worship with Dima. This is probably the thing that connects. Yeah, okay, that connects that. Let's continue to look around here. I'm actually pretty excited at the prospect of just straight up talking to uh, to Dima. Like I said, my charisma is pretty high. You guys might be <laughs> already aware of that. Let's see what's in here. Anything? Uh, nothing really of interest. I mean, there's a f there's a few things I could probably take. There's a terminal. Let's see here. Current projects. Uh, fog condensers. Internal motors reworked to correct problems with units becoming off balance. Dima's proposed upgrades for flow intake integrated. Power consumption roofs, blah, 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 blah. Uh, feedback from Far Harbor representatives taken into consideration. Dima's precise words were noted and ignored. Huh. Interesting. Deem upgrades. Vacuum tubes resealed after corrosion noted in multiple locations. Adaptive seating motors recalibrated. No additional instances of Dima becoming entangled in memory access apparatus. Personal note. I am concerned that we are approaching the limits of what Dima's internal power source can safely accommodate. Too much more of this and he risks overworking himself. We also got past projects. Shelved. Reconstruction Surgery 06. Subject S2 brought in requesting facial reconstruction. Surgery completed successfully with minor scarring. Subject satisfied with procedure. Technique improves with every additional attempt. Surgery 09. V5 brought in after incident on island. Severe trauma to head and upper torso. Cognitive function is impaired. All functionality restored. Surgery 12. Subject redacted brought in after incident during trip to Acadia. Significant trauma to left arm repaired. Full function restored. So, okay. Like, obviously they're doing a good thing for Sincere. So, like, this isn't a bad place. Right? Not a bad place. But if Dima is planning something, then that could be problematic. You know, I'm fluent in uncooperative old machine. You want me to give that terminal a look? Yeah, I, th I can actually handle it. I could probably do either. This seems like the easier one. They probably don't really want me snooping around in their stuff. But, uh, that's too bad for them. Because I'm a master level lock picker. And that's what I do. I pick locks. I break a few. I, I let's 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 be honest. I break a few, but I can also get a few open. God, I got this. Hold on, hold on. It's right. It's right here. It's right. It's right. There we go. Got it. That's it. Watching a conductor at the orchestra. Thank you. Okay, so they got a lot of stuff back here. Um. Jet buff. I didn't mean to take the microscope, but whatever. Uh, great mentats. Those are expensive. Vacuum tube. Can always use more grenades. Hello! Huh. This isn't unusual. This is not yet unusual. I mean, they need a way to defend things. So them having all this stuff here is not out of- out of the ordinary. It does not mean that they're planning to kill everyone. Let's see what you got there. More grenades. Uh, flame or fuel. 
But this, none of this even counts as stealing. It's like, yeah, we locked that door, but if you can get to it, you can have it. You're our buddy. More stuff. I uh, don't need any of the other junk. Bottle cap, telephone. No, I'm good. Oh, I thought. Doggone it, stupid textures. I thought that was a hollow tape. Nick's taking a peek at some stuff too. And this. Unlock Acadia storage key. Oh, yeah! I found the, the storage key. Additional. Or optional. Eavesdrop on the meeting. Oh, well, I guess now that I'm here... Hide and wait. I was gonna just talk to Dima. But this is, um... This is actually... <laughs> it's probably easier since I'm already here. Um, I'm gonna continue taking stuff. This is like... Ammo City, man. Game arounds. Okay. So this is an option. Kinda wanna talk- well, this actually might be safer because then... If I do this... They're not gonna hide anything from me, you know? Alright, hide and wait. That is creepy music. I mean, I could have probably approached Dima, but... If I do it this way... Then they can't- they can't lie to me. It's gonna be everything out in the open. We need to accomplish this without bloodshed. Far Harbor and the Children of Adam have a right to exist on this island. The same as us. They're going to kill each other, Dima. There's no stopping it. We need to pick a side now. Haven't we already picked a side? Building the fog condensers around Far Harbor wasn't exactly a neutral act. We couldn't stand by and let the people of this island die to the fog. Just like you couldn't just leave the Cult of Adam without a home? Giving them the submarine base was a mistake. The Nucleus, as they're calling it, is basically one big fortified position. Far Harbor had cast them out. They have strange beliefs, but they have always accepted us for what we are. And Confessor Martin was a friend. Well, the new Confessor isn't. High Confessor Tectus is an unstable megalomaniac, and he's going to keep threatening us as long as we're helping Far Harbor. Guys, can we talk about the elephant in the room? We keep dancing around it. My old memory banks in the submarine base. I can't believe you never told me about those. I have to wait until they become a security risk. I know how it looks in hindsight. But at the time, it was an act of trust. I was honestly more worried they'd accidentally trip the pre-war security and get hurt, giving the children my old home, allowing them to safeguard my old memories. I thought our people would be working together. <sighs> Just how secure are the banks? How long do we have? And what's in them? I've gone over this before, Chase. I don't know what's in them. That's how it works. It's as close to forgetting something as I have. But I've run some projections of worst-case scenarios. If we do nothing and the wrong knowledge falls in the wrong hands... So send me over there. I'll be in and out in a day. We can't risk it. They know you're from Acadia. If you're caught or even seen, then it's war. We should at least prepare her to go in. We're running out of options. I say we tell her how to crack into the memory banks. You've been working on this without me? It came up in a private moment, Chase. But yes, we've been writing a program that will let you access and download my memories. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm finishing up some tweaks to the program right now. I'll leave a copy of it for you on my desk when I'm done. Get the program, use it to break into the memory banks. Got it. Hopefully you won't have to. We'll keep monitoring the situation. I only want you going in if we have no other choice. Interesting. 
Dima's on the up and up. Dima's actually okay. He's got his fingers everywhere on this island. And whatever's in his memories isn't something we can wait for someone else to find. Hmm. Hey, you mind keeping an eye out for a second? Gotta run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What'd I miss? Huh. What's cool is that we can actually still do the other optional stuff, and honestly, I would like to talk to Dima. I really would. Especially, we've eavesdropped. Like, we know. Like, we know things. But Dima does seem on the up and up. There's apparently some, some old memories or something that we're gonna need to find. Um, which we can do. You know, we, we can, we can do that. Wait, who's this? Every day's a struggle here. But at least we don't have to hide. Hey. Every day's a struggle here. Okay, that's the only... We don't have to hide. That's the only thing you say. Oh, is there someone else here too? Katie is far away enough from the Institute that we don't have to worry, right? Yeah, probably. Probably. You're, you're probably fine. Huh. Man, this has been a wild episode. Like... I had some assumptions... And, you know, some are right, some are wrong, and we've just been learning so much. Kasumi. Dima has secrets. We have to find out what he's really up to. Hmm. Alright. Let me, um... What are the other things? We can talk to Dima, which is one thing. But then we can also do, uh... Let's see. Optional... Uh, obtain Faraday's program. Oh, that's not optional anymore. We have to do that. But the other thing is talk to Dima. I definitely want to do that. I absolutely want to talk to Dima. At this point, I think that it's... Imperative. Like, uh, truthfully. I, I feel like it's it's not an optional thing. We absolutely need to do that because we can't... Just... Go on and do all this stuff behind his back. And I actually like Dima. I think that, um... I think that he really is... You know, looking out for stuff. Dima. Yes. What is it? I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you... You're new to the island. Hmm. What are you planning, Dima? Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me? About Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? The children of Adam on this island? You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. Hmm. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay in return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock, and a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent, and their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub-base to the Children of Adam. I thought they were safe. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. 
pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam, gain access to their base in the old command center, guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. So how does this program work? There will be a fairly ordinary looking terminal with some attachments. The program will give you access to the terminal. Once you attempt to obtain a memory, your perspective might shift a little. Just relax then. The program will explain things to you as you need them. Hmm. I'll get your memories, Dima. If we're lucky, the pre-war defenses have kept the children of Adam at bay. But that means you'll have to get past them yourself. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. If we find anything suspicious in those memories of yours, we'll be back. Count on it. Hmm. Well, I have learned some things. I have definitely... What, what, is, what is still moving down there? Report back to Kasumi. Alright, we still have to report back to Kasumi, but otherwise we have learned so much. And I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Next episode, we will talk to Kasumi, and then I turn to all of you. What would you like to see? Now, obviously, we're on where you belong, and we could continue to push forward with that. We could pose as the children of Adam, well, a new recruit for the children of Adam, and go check that out. Sure. We also have got some other things that we could do around Acadia to help out. We have to go retrieve these storage drives. We can go talk to Brooks. Um... We can, God forbid, go try and find this fog crawler. Like, there's other things that are happening around Far Harbor that we can do. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's advantageous to go help Far Harbor before we get too far into some of the other stuff. I know that, uh, you know, we try not to metagame too much, but we also have to metagame at least a little bit. And I need your help on some of that just for the fact that it's a Bethesda game. You can get locked out of stuff pretty easily. So if we're trying to do as much as possible, there may be a certain order that we need to do things in order to show more of the game off. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time for more Stephen Plays Fallout 4.